That was barely worth the effort, Adagio. I'm tired of fast food. I need a meal. The energy in this world isn't the same as in Equestria. We can only gain so much power here. Oh, I wish we'd never been banished to this awful place. Really? I love it here. For realsies? Because I think this place is the worst. I think you're the worst, Sonata. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you're... Ugh. I'll tell you one thing. Being stuck here with you two isn't making this world any more bearable. Equestrian magic. But this world doesn't have equestrian magic. It does now. And we're going to use it to make everyone in this pathetic little world adore us. Want some help? Uh, no thanks. We're good. Oh, okay. I had no idea the whole school would be here. Quite the eye-catching advertisement, if I do say so myself. And it smells like cake! It does? I use frosting instead of paste! Uh, Fluttershot, you got a little something, uh... Did I get it? <laughs> Not exactly. Good afternoon, students. I just wanted to tell you all how pleased I am that so many of you are going to participate in the first ever Canterlot High School Musical Showcase. <laughs> this is a wonderful opportunity to raise money for all our after-school programs here at CHS. So keep working on those signs and posters. I think it's going to be one of the most exciting events we've had at CHS since the fall formal. Uh, 
Uh, I am never gonna live that down. You were pretty bad at the fall formal. A demon. I turned into a raging she-demon. And tried to turn everyone here into teenage zombies for your own personal army. Oh, darling. You have us, and we've forgiven you for your past <clears throat> boo-boos. To be honest, I'd say the whole experience brought everyone at Canterlot High closer than ever before. One, two, three! There was a time we were apart, but that's behind us now. See how we've made a brand new start, and the future's looking up. Oh, oh. And when you walk these halls, you feel it everywhere. Yeah, we're the Wonder Colts forever. on our own but now you walk these halls and friends are everywhere yeah we're the wonder colts forever oh yeah we are all together now it's better than ever now that we are back on track yes i'm so glad that we're better better than ever happens when we play. Ooh, I've got to look into some new accessories. Something that looks good in a longer ponytail. Ooh, maybe some clip-on earrings for when I get those adorable pony ears. I just wonder why it happens. Princess Twilight took her crown back to Equestria. Shouldn't that mean she took all the magic back with her? Who cares why it happens? It makes my band totally awesome! Oh, your band? Duh! It was my idea to start the Rain Boom so we could be in the showcase. Plus, I'm the lead singer and guitarist. Uh, heard you outside. You guys are sounding really tight. Uh, we're getting there. Rarity's still coming in a little late on the second verse, and Applejack's bass solo could use a little work. They'll get it together in time for the showcase. Uh, I don't suppose any of our friends from uh, out of town might come? Uh, it being a special charity event and all. Sorry, Flash. I don't think Twilight's gonna be back at Canterlot High anytime soon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. I just, you know, thought I'd ask. Uh, keep on rocking it. Well, someone is quite the smitten kitten. <laughs> oh, sorry. I always forget you and Flash used to be an item. It's okay. Flash is a great guy and all, but I never really liked him, liked him. I was just using him to become more popular. Ugh, the old me really was just awful, wasn't she? Mm, sorry. <laughs> yep. But the important thing is that you've turned yourself around. Uh, thanks, Applejack. But I'm not sure everyone else at CHS feels the same way. Sunset Shimmer, please report to the main foyer. Gotta run. I volunteered to show some new students around the school. Thought it'd be good for them to get to know the new me before they heard all the stuff about the old me. We've still got a few minutes before lunch starts. What do you say we do awesome as I want to be? Um, Rainbow Dash, I was wondering if we could maybe play the song I wrote. We'll get to it. Oh, okay. Hi, are you the girls I'm supposed to show around? We are. Canterlot High is a great school. You're really going to love it. Oh, yes. We really sense there's something magical about this place. That's the science lab. Computer lab is in there. Oh, we're having a big musical showcase this weekend. The whole school is pretty much rallying around it. A <gasps> um, musical showcase? I'm sure since you're new, Principal Celestia would let you sign up if you're interested. 
We have been known to sing from time to time. Hello! We sing, like, all the time. It's how we get people to do what we want. <clears throat> what, what did I say? What you meant to say was that being in a musical showcase sounds like a great way to meet other students. Oh, yeah. What you said I meant to say. That's what I meant. To say. <sighs> and what you would have said if you weren't the worst. You are! You'll have to excuse them. They're idiots. <laughs> Those are pretty. Where did you... <laughs> Sorry. These pendants mean an awful lot to us. We just hate for anything to happen to them. So, how was the tour? I don't know. I mean, these girls, they were... There was something off about them. Like off like this? Or off like this? Or, or, oh, like maybe we should just let her tell us? That's just it. I can't put my finger on it. They just acted sort of strange around me. Maybe someone already talked to them, told them about what I did. Oh, so much for making a good first impression. Uh-huh. Oh, that's probably not it. This is it, girls. The moment we've been waiting for. Lunch? Oh, the chance to get our true equestrian magic back. Oh, right. Our voices are just strong enough to make them want something so badly, they'll fight to get it. So we're just going to do what we always do? Stir up some trouble and then feed off the negative energy? Some plan, Adagio. It won't be the same as the times before. There is equestrian magic here. Their negative energy will give us the power we need to get this entire world to do our bidding. But we can get lunch after, though, right? It's Taco Tuesday! Just follow my lead. Or my lead. My lead.
Those three are definitely in possession of some kind of dark magic. How else could you explain what happened back there? Don't worry, y'all. We let Principal Celestia know all about this, and those girls will be kicked to the curb in no time. Last thing she needs is another CHS event almost ruined by some power-crazed lunatic. Uh, no offense. <sighs> None taken. Dark magic? I find that very hard to believe. Those girls came into my office earlier and were absolutely delightful. Uh, perhaps Sunset Shimmer is just eager to make someone else out to be a bad element, so that her actions at the Fall Formal will become old news. I could see why you might think that, but... That's not what's happening. We saw all of this go down in the cafeteria, too. Yes, but isn't your band supposed to be part of the musical showcase? Yes. Perhaps you're all just worried that the Dazzlings will steal your spotlight. The Dazzlings? It's the name of their musical group. That's why they came by my office earlier, to sign up for the showcase. Even sang a little song to Vice Principal Luna and I. They did? Yes. And we think having a battle of the bands instead is a marvelous idea. I can't believe they got to Principal Celestia and Vice Principal Luna, too. They've gotten to everybody. Not everybody! Pinkie Pie's right. We were there when the Dazzlings were singing, and we weren't affected. It was like we were protected somehow. So let's take them down! It's not like we haven't tangled with dark magic before and totally whooped it sorry, but... Uh, no offense. <sighs> None taken. Again. But that was when Twilight was here. There may be some kind of magic inside us, but it only comes out when we play music. I sure don't know how to use it to whoop anybody's butt. Oh, if only we could get a message to Twilight. Maybe she could tell us how to break the spell the Dazzlings have cast on our friends. Well, that's not gonna happen. The portal's closed. <gasps> and I get the feeling they don't exactly have cell phones where she's from. I may have an idea how we can get in touch with Princess Twilight. When I was Princess Celestia's student back in Equestria, she gave me this. Even after I abandoned my studies, I held on to it. Deep down, I guess I knew I was making a big mistake, and I wanted to still have a way to reach out to her. Maybe it still works. That's a book, darling. What do you mean, maybe still works? It used to be that if I wrote something here, it would appear in the pages of a book back in Princess Celestia's library. I get a message to her, then she can get a message to Princess Twilight. So what are you waiting for? Get to writing! <sighs> Been a long time since I've written these words. Dear Princess Celestia. Excuse me, Princess. Where do you want all these books from Princess Celestia? The library. Third door on the left. Even this one that's glowing and vibrating? What is it, Twilight? It looks like a message to Princess Celestia from my friends at Canterlot High. How is that even possible? I have no idea, but it sounds like they need my help. The way Sunset Shimmer described them, I think these new girls sound an awful lot like the Sirens. Not the Sirens! I don't actually know what that is. The Sirens were three beautiful but dangerous creatures who had the power to charm ponies with their music. 
But to maintain this power, they had to feed on the negativity and distrust of others. The more of this negative energy they consumed, the stronger their voices became, and the farther they could spread their dark magic. I don't think I like this story very much. If the Sirens had their way, they would have divided and conquered all of Equestria. But a certain Star Swirl of Bearded wasn't having it. Rumor has it, he found a way to banish them to another world. One where he believed their magic power would be lost. That world must have been the one where my Canterlot High friends live. But Star Swirl must have sent them there ages ago. How come they're just surfacing now? I don't know, but if my hunch is right, and it is the Sirens who've come to Canterlot High, this spell they've cast is just the beginning. My friends need me. I have to get back to them. I hate to burst your bubble, Twilight, but the connection between their world and Equestria will still be totally cut off for a super long time. Okay, first of all, if there was bubble blowing going on, why wasn't I told about it? And secondly, if the connection is totally cut off, how was Sunset Shimmer able to get a message to Twilight? <gasps> Pinky, you're a genius. Yeah, I get that a lot. Now about those bubbles. And the interval between the two points is defined as the square root of the sum of the squares of the separation between the points along three spatial dimensions. Say what now? Duh! She's gonna take the magic in here and put it in there. That'll make the portal open up so that whenever she wants to, she can go from here to there. There to here. Here to there. Here to there. Here to there. Here to we get the idea. Now to see if it actually works. Suppose we could join you this time around? Better not. It could make things pretty confusing if Canterlot High all of a sudden had two of all of you. Ooh. Oh, right. Right. But I still get to go, right? There isn't another one of me at Canterlot High, and you never know when you might need your trusty assistant. Mm-hmm. Yes! We won't be gone long. Oh, well, you'll be safe there. there. And don't forget to dress well. Ready, Spike? Ready! She's not coming. Twilight! Ooh, I'm back. Oh, Twilight! Twilight! And I've got some bad news about those new girls. to return in a time of crisis. We have so much catching up to do. For starters, a certain blue-haired guitar player was just asking about you. Flash Sentry was asking about me? <clears throat> Isn't that nice? Perhaps you could give us just the slightest bit of gossip from your world? She's got an official title now. Da -da -da -da! The Princess of Friendship! Wow, that's really impressive. Guess you really were Princess Celestia's prize pupil. She's even got her own castle. A uh, castle? You have your own castle? Uh, <clears throat> oh, uh, lovely. 
What's new here? I mean, besides your school becoming the target of dangerous magical creatures from Equestria. Yeah, so that isn't exactly the only strange thing that's happened since you left. Pretty sweet, huh? It happens to all of us when we play. Hmm. My crown was returned to Equestria, but some of its magic must have remained here at Canterlot High. Now that we're all back together, we can use that magic on the sirens, just like when we were able to use it on Sunset Shimmer when she turned into that horrifyingly awful winged monster. No offense. None taken. <laughs> I'm used to it. They'll never even know what hit them. We've got nothing to worry about now that Twilight's back. Oh, I'm pretty sure I could find something to worry about. But it won't be the sirens. The sooner we do this, the better. Any idea where the dazzlings might be? Tonight for all the bands who signed up to be in the showcase. That would include the Dazzlings. Looks like we've got a party to crash. Hey. <sighs> I'm gonna get more punch. Twilight? Uh, bumped into always doing. Uh, what are you doing here? You came back for the big competition, right? Something like that. <laughs> now that there's going to be any real competition, no one here wants this as bad as my band does. Excuse me for just a minute. Oh no! No one's mingling! It's like there's some kind of underlying tension that could bubble to the surface at any minute. It's a fruit punch, isn't it? Too much grape juice. It's not the fruit punch, it's us. But the punch is awful, too. What do you know about good fruit punch? More than you. Do not. Do too. This is just the kickoff party, girls. Imagine what a tizzy they'll be in by the time the Battle of the Bands starts. There isn't going to be a Battle of the Bands. We're gonna make sure of that. All right, girls, let's do this. Friendship is magic! Uh, weren't there rainbows and lasers and stuff last time? I don't understand. We're all together again. Why isn't this working? You, uh, really need to go ahead and do that whole magic of friendship thing now. I'm trying, Spike. I thought the six of us standing together against the sirens would bring out the magic we needed to defeat them. That's what happened before. Talk about throwing down the gauntlet. This group is obviously serious about winning. A little cocky, though, aren't they? Claiming there won't really be a battle. Seems they think they've already got this thing all locked up. Not at the great and powerful Trixie has anything to do with it. Whatever, Trixie. We're the best band at CHS. No, the Crusaders are gonna win. I think we may have found what we're looking for. Or rather, it found us. Magic! Don't you see? Everyone else has fallen under our spell. But not these girls. These girls are special. <laughs> <laughs> 